In persons with atrial fibrillation who have had an acute ischemic stroke, the effect of early as compared with later initiation of direct oral anticoagulants is unclear. Early initiation may increase the risk of intracranial hemorrhage, but later initiation may increase the risk of early stroke recurrence. A new trial estimates outcomes with each strategy. In this international randomized trial, 2,032 patients with acute ischemic stroke and atrial fibrillation were assigned to early initiation of any approved direct oral anticoagulant at 48 hours after onset of a minor or moderate stroke and on day 6 or 7 after a major stroke, or to later initiation, beginning on day 3 or 4 after a minor stroke, day 6 or 7 after a moderate stroke, and day 12, 13, or 14 after a major stroke. The assessors were unaware of the trial group assignments. The primary outcome was a composite of recurrent ischemic stroke, systemic embolism, major extracranial bleeding, symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage, or death from vascular causes within 30 days after randomization. A primary outcome event occurred in 2.9% of the participants in the early treatment group and 4.1% of those in the later treatment group. Regarding secondary outcomes, by 30 days recurrent ischemic stroke had occurred in fewer participants in the early treatment group. The incidence of major extracranial bleeding and symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage was low in both groups. Approximately 15% of the participants in each group had a serious adverse event by 90 days. The trial was not designed to test superiority or inferiority of one approach over another, but rather to provide estimates that might be helpful to clinicians. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.